guys welcome back in this video we are going to start a new tutorial series um, a project management tool I have named it as install plan so what is this tool so basically we are going to have a tool like something where we can create projects we can create tasks we can create comments we can have notification we'll have so many other steps since this project where while when I was creating when I was writing this project I saw like it is going bigger and bigger so I decided to release it in parts so initially in first phase what we are going to do we are going to see in future videos like how we'll create auth module role module module user module project and task okay now if I go back in description yeah so so basically here we have uh, all the steps which we need in any project management tool we'll, we'll log in with some URL and uh, we will have the authorization token and based on the token it will automatically be added to all the in points here in the postman and we will see how we can configure we can create these organized folders and how we can create environments how we can uh, add automatically auto, auto token to all the in points where it is needed uh, we get the profiles uh, whichever profile we are uh, actually from where we are logged in we'll get that profile details we can update our profile we can uh, update I mean user as well we can get all the roles of the user I mean all the roles which is there for users and we can create roles although in roles we haven't uh, we have created the in point for roles here but right now it is it was just created create an update for the initial setup so we have this uh, mapping in the in our project in code base so it won't be dynamically work if we change the role name although in future I plan to create a dynamic role based like we can have roles we can map the features like create project view project on UI directly so these things can be a big I mean uh, huge changes so that's why I am keeping it separate so here we will have the users management we can have projects all the projects user is uh, user can access can see and delete and uh, assign anyone if the user has role uh, I mean uh, uh, if user has some roles like if he has uh, if that role is allowed to assign user on project let's say the project management let's say the team lead has the rights to uh, assign user on projects then he can do he can use this otherwise if someone comes up and try to assign someone it will not work so we'll be creating guards we will be creating uh, mm, what, what we can say let's say if I try to execute this I probably will get an error no the reason behind that the, uh, there's already an access token and I'm getting the my account so from where I have logged in if you see this one so if I try to log in with something else uh, I'm going to get let's say this this is the different email ID and I have got this access token if I go here I will see this is automatically binded here with this environment variable so we'll see how we can configure all these things and if I try to execute it again you see uh, this is a different email and different name and roles and we can have different things here like tasks as well right now it is not um, um, displayed here but yeah we can configure it in register we can create a new user anyone can join and uh, write I mean with the some let's say right now we are not having uh, UI but from endpoint perspective like we can pass these details and create user and these users will be uh, available if I try to execute this I'll see a list of users here alright and similarly if I try to get one uh, user by ID we can get it and if you notice like we are getting the data in in fixed structure like status code message and data so th these these things are actually we'll see how we can create interceptors alright we can see 
I will see how we will create interceptors. Uh, also, let's say if I try to uh, not here. If I let's let's say uh, in uh, auth. Let's say in auth. If I go here and if I remove this, see what happens. I'm getting some error response you might be wondering why we are getting these things so this is done just for the development we can remove it in the code and uh, we are getting some response object in particular structured way like what property we we should return we have defined it in the code and uh, it's not just the default exception so we will create exception filter so that we can um, uh, properly return error in one response we do not need to add try catch every time all right I'm just going to put it back here similarly we can create a project so even here again like I will need authorization I can I need to uh, if I want to create project I can create a project as well let's say if I can create a project so what it is saying you do not have permission to perform this action so this user since if I go back here remember uh, if I show you here so this user has member role so if I see like who is the person who is project manager role or some other role let's say this one is project manager role so I can go here and copy paste and try to log in with this I've kept uh, password one two eight for each one so that I don't need to remember it now if I try to run profile I'll see uh, this is the logged in user and if I try to create this project again I probably it will probably allow me so now it is showing project created successfully uh, if I go and uh, in get projects I should see all the projects which I am part of let's say uh, the one which I have already created right now so I am seeing this and for the assigned users I have already uh, it added me automatically by default okay now um, I can also get the project details uh, by the ID as well let's say if I try to access this I am getting unauthorized the reason behind that I am not assigned to this let's say uh, the one which I have just created let's say this one the four if I try passing four now I can access this similarly if I am a project manager probably I would be able to assign someone uh, on that project so let's see if I assign this user so user 1 already exists on project 4 since this is there is a validation added so let me try with the user 2 I don't know if I am the only user if my ID is 2 I don't know 3 is already on 4 not so something is wrong I guess okay so all those three users were part of uh, the project now if I go back uh, in project 4 if I try to execute this I see this user is now added okay since this user is now added I can also uh, I can try to delete the project but since I'm a project manager I can delete the project uh, are there any project 1 so if I try to delete the project I will not be able to delete it since I haven't uh, I'm not part of this project so if I try to delete the project which I just created project 5 uh, let me try it and then what will happen is it will allow me okay you do not have permission to perform this action so we will review these things like why uh, we are not able to delete this and uh, based on the rules uh, provided to each user role I mean probably this uh, project manager might not be having uh, permission to delete the uh, project okay in in task when it comes to task we can create a task for let's say create a tutorial for introduction and uh, I'm just going to create it again I'm unauthorized so since this task I'm not I cannot create the task in 
project 3 let me try it on project 4 and then see if the task is created now if I go back to get all the accessible project task if I try to see I don't have permission to see the task of 4 and we will also build few more things like we can also get all the tasks uh, so we are going to create few more APIs in points which we are not seeing here but we will create one in point that uh, for the admin so I have left uh, this section uh, this this I am I have left this for the second phase so that admin thing can be handled more properly okay now if I try to access the project for stars so this these are the tasks so uh, which I have created just now so there's one task only and it is in status to do similarly if I have added a task probably if might not be having uh, rights I will, I will fix this I will fix this there's no URL okay okay uh, we have seen a lot about the project uh, APIs what we are going to see quickly is the how the code will look like and what are the things we are going to do in from the coding perspectives so for now the comment section I am just going to close it since we are not we have not created it yet and I will definitely do it in for the second second uh, part alright so we have this auth module we have com uh, for about the comments we'll see how we can create the different decorators uh, we'll we'll see how we can create custom uh, configuration for environment variables we'll have the, uh, we'll create the DTO we'll follow the all the project structure uh, we'll create uh, the base entity we'll create filters uh, similarly uh, interceptors these these things will create custom pipes as well we'll have modules we'll have utilities and this is the common and we will create a database module we'll configure everything down from the config we'll create project module we'll create task and we'll create user module inside user like we can create it separately as well the role module we have there are so many things in role module like these are the permissions we are uh, for th for these roles these are the features we are allowing them it to work so based on uh, if we configure it in future from the u endpoint then uh, we can handle it dynamically as well okay so uh, I understand like uh, there are so many things uh, just by looking at the code right now it won't make sense any it won't make any sense so what I'm going to do I'm going to move it out and we'll show you like one more thing uh, about the roles so if you see this role matrix so I am planning to do something like this so based on these roles like user management uh, project manager can have CRUD operations but team lead probably will not be allowed to handle the user uh, similarly for projects like uh, client can just read user can read and update and task and th these things so a couple of uh, uh, modules we haven't created it so in future this is going to be a different complex thing and probably we'll try to uh, have different uh, um, way to do it probably we'll add uh, sockets and other steps uh, before notifications we'll see how we can have different waste configuration for all the other modules all right if I show you something else I would like to show you the schema let me just show you quickly yeah so this is the schema for the uh, let me zoom it a bit can I zoom it more okay now if you see uh, although there are more many more to come here but right now if you see we have the user we have the password these things like uh, so uh, the user will have uh, a user project users table for relation to access the projects and users and for task it will be associated with the projects and it will also be associated with the user as well similarly for user will have user rules will have uh, I think this is many to many relation 
uh, in projects projects in user can have many projects projects can have many users so many to many and uh, a project can have many tasks a task can only be associated with one project so these are the things like uh, we are going to cover in the in the coming videos and I know like uh, it might not be making sense since we haven't developed the UI part of it but once you start working on it you will try to see like you will see everything from scratch how we are going to build uh, com complex uh, project management tool if needed in future we'll go to the microservice architecture but that will uh, be a in future scope so that was it from this video thank you for watching have a nice day